Hello. Do I look as drab and stiff as this easel? Maybe. Does that mean that I am not capable of making art? No, it does not. Who are we but humble servants of the universe? Do I look like an artist? Why don't I put these guys on? That might help. Okay, no. I am here today to talk about painting, specifically abstract painting. So, in the name of this gloomy day and my gloomy outfit, we are going to create a lovely abstract painting for you today. <laughs> Hello. My name is Ria. I feel like I look like a very depressed artist. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's not true. <laughs> Kidding, kind of. Wow, yeah, look how moody I look. Is my old friend. Lots of sunshine in this gray outfit. Yeah. I look like such an artist crossing my arms in my sweater, my gloomy sweater. Today felt like a great day to paint a picture. Feel free to join along, you know, grab a drink and just get painting with me. But before we can paint anything, we got to understand, I mean really understand what abstract art and abstract painting is. Abstract art. What is it to you? What does it mean? Does any of this make sense? Probably not. That's okay. If it does, good job. Abstract art is hard, guys. It's not easy. People think it's easy. It's not. Because people have such a hard time just letting go. Now, I'm sure you've been to a museum before and you've walked around and you're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> or you think, man, I could do that with my eyes closed. A five-year-old could paint better than that. I hear that all the time from people. I used to be like one of those people I used to think, man, yeah, you know, abstract art is just truly crap. What is it? I don't know. It looks lazy and there's no point. But that's not necessarily the case. And you can disagree with me on that, but the best way I can describe abstract art is that basically you're creating something or you're painting something or you're drawing something that basically isn't anything. And another way, you can literally just paint how you're feeling without it looking like anything that's actually real or tangible. I know it's a lot to take in. Have you ever painted an abstract painting before? I bet you have. I bet you did. When you were a tiny, tiny little tot, a little tiny baby, a little bean, a little small human bean. Every baby has made abstract art. If you ever made anything and drew anything, and you scribbled something, you made abstract art when you were a baby. But then once you started drawing circles and apples and people were teaching you and telling you to draw certain things, that's when you stopped being an abstract artist. My brother started a streaming channel, by the way. Just in case you're interested, if you like games and you like watching people, my brother is on Twitch. He just started Twitch um, and he's really funny and I think you'll like him. His name is V underscore E X P E R I E N C E. So I have that right here. He plays RPG adventures and other kinds of games and whatnot. It's great. Love him. Love my brother. So there you go. Please subscribe to him or follow him on Twitch. I want to do an abstract painting with you guys. We're not trying to make this something stressful. This is supposed to be a very calming, stress-free, judgment-free, abstract painting session. And you're welcome to join along with me and paint and do whatever you want, or you can just sit back and relax and watch me bumble through my abstract painting and see what I make. But I really like it now, so I think I'm gonna enjoy this and see how frustrating or not frustrating it is. And I'm not really sure because of, you know, my past with abstract art. <laughs> Are you ready to paint? Are you ready? I'm gonna set up now, okay? Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. We're gonna get started.
Got my paint cup and my cute little Savannah coffee roasters cup. And then my cute little yellow cup. Hello. Hello. That's for water. Hello. And this is my bag of paints. My bag of pain. Okay, anyways, we have our simple canvas, and that is where we shall paint. And then we have this art palette. Instead of painting on this, what I do now is to take a piece of crinkly aluminum foil, and I put it on my palette, and I punch a hole, like so. There you go. Now you got your palette that you can reuse. I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna show you how I paint something abstract. Hello, Cooper. Cooper's also an art school chick. I think Cooper is very interested to see what happens here. <laughs> I am five years old. How old teal? And squish that on here. A little bit of gray. Dry. I was about to say, like, if that dry, I'm mad. Paint is not cheap, y'all. Ooh. So guys, how do we paint something abstract? Well, I can't really tell you. I just can only say, feel the feelings you're feeling and let the canvas take it away. That was actually not that bad. I went to art school and let me tell ya, this girl right here, she did not understand abstract art. They teach you all kinds of things in art school, and one of them being abstract art. In my Design 101 class, I think it was the second quarter of my freshman year, I had this one teacher who was my abstract design professor. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan because I literally was like, I want to like paint flowers. I want to paint like people, man. I want to paint this. I want to paint that. I'll paint this. But no, no, no. In this class, we do not paint flowers. We do not Ooh, paint things. We don't paint stuff that you see all the time. Mm -mm. You paint some sort of weird concept that you want to translate. I don't expect anyone to understand any of this. <laughs> Just like the inside of my brain. Oof. Wow, I put some black. Ooh, that's dark, girl. That's dark. That's dark. That's dark. 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 Into some abstract form, and I know a lot of people literally again think like abstract art and just doesn't have a purpose. There's no point. It's just ugly, weird, random stuff. And sometimes it is just whatever you're feeling or some random weird stuff. Abstract art is more about the concept behind the actual painting than it is the actual painting. So a lot of the time you'll see paintings in a museum and it's very important in modern museums and abstract art to go look at the description under the painting because that's where the magic happens, baby, you know? And you go read it and after you read it and go look at the art again, you kind of have more of an appreciation for that piece than you did before, at least I do. So next time you go to a museum or something and you're looking at abstract art, read about it first because usually there's some weird story about it like maybe the artist like drank like 700 cans of soda or something and felt very terrible and got sick and decided to paint and like spit all over the canvas i don't know i'm making this up but there you go that's an interesting story you're like oh cool well you know, they didn't just paint this weird brown thing. It's actually interesting painting about someone getting like weirdly sick or doing something crazy. Or they're painting something for like their beloved love. <laughs> the feeling of love. And sometimes that doesn't look like anything. So they try to capture that. Whatever love means to them, you know? For me, love might look like a bunch of fluffy clouds. And for someone else, it might look like a bunch of boxes. I don't know. Does that make sense? Anyways, when I was in art school, I had my abstract painting class and I was like, boy oh boy, I bet I'll just do fine. You know, literally this is gonna be such an easy class because all I'm gonna have to do is paint like a square or like a box and stuff. It's gonna be great, you know? I'm just gonna pass, it's gonna be so easy. Boy was I wrong. It was one of the hardest classes. She'd walk around the room when we'd get started on each project and she'd say, Rhea, okay, so what is your painting about? And I would be like, I would try to tell her this thing. What is this painting about? And I would be like, yeah, um, this painting, it's about travel and I love traveling and 
Um, I also kind of thought it was interesting. There's all these beautiful colors in specific places that I like to travel. And she just stopped me and she was like, you're not getting it. I'm gonna be like, what? She's like, yeah, you're not getting it. That's not abstract. <laughs> and that happened like every single time we did an assignment. Wow. Doing that made me feel, wow. <laughs> Like, I hate it, but I also like it. I feel like that's the great thing about painting. <laughs> She'd walk up to me while we were working on our projects, whether it was like taking a bunch of random shapes and sticking it together, or going outside and listening to a bunch of random sounds and writing them down. But I don't know. I felt very defeated in that class. I was always like, man, like, why can't I get this right? I don't understand. I don't know. And you know what? She knew that I didn't know because in the final, the final was literally doing whatever we wanted, which I was like, yikes, this is so bad for my brain. This looks quite um, a lot. I feel like this reminds me of a, Hero a Hieronymus Bosch painting because I'm so indecisive. You can do anything you want, but as long as it has to do with you personally. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so I just kind of fucked this painting up big time. Oh my God. Guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> That's okay. Something about my personal life. That's a lot, that could be anything. It could be anything. It could be a painting, it could be a drawing, it could be a sculpture, it could be a performance art piece. I was like, I don't know what the hell to do. I don't even know how I came up with this idea, but again, I, for whatever reason, was like, where I come from is my identity, and I love it, and it's who I am, and it's who I is, and I love it so much, and I'm going to do a project on that. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. And I was like, oh man, yeah, finally. I hate this. <laughs> okay, so I officially hate this painting. <laughs> I did something, and she finally approved something that I did. So I was very proud. I was like, ha, I outsmarted her. I guess I was just being very vague. Cause then when I brought in my piece, I don't know where it is right now, but it basically was a whiteboard piece <laughs> with a bunch of map pieces glued together on a white board in the shape of this giant wave. That sounds kind of cool to me, but honestly it looked like crap. It did, it looked like crap. Everybody just sat there and stared at my piece in silence. Not one word. And I was like, oh man. My teacher, she took me outside and I was like, not excited to talk to her. And she basically confronted me and I was very upset. I don't know, I was so confused by abstract art. I really was at that time. I just, I didn't understand any of it. I didn't think there was a point and I guess my brain literally could not compute. It exploded and every time I tried making abstract art, it ended up not being abstract and always was something real, you know? like. I made a wave. You're not supposed to make a wave, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, it was weird. But anyway, she starts hounding me about my final. She's like, this is an abstract, it's very concrete. It's a wave, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's like this piece, it doesn't have any real abstract. You know, all these other assignments were here to kind of prepare you to understand abstract art. You just don't get it. You don't get abstract art. You just make everything into something concrete. You obviously don't get it, you don't understand. You just don't. Well, geez. And then after that, I bawled. She was the first professor to make me cry. <laughs> and I was like devastated. I don't know what it was. I just cried and then she left me in the hallway <laughs> and I had to go back in. And I was like, I'm paying so much money for this. And so that was my first crying experience in art school. Yes, my abstract teacher made me cry. Um, and I just, I thought that I was never going to heal after that. I was just like, you know, I'm never gonna survive. I don't think I'll ever understand abstract art. But you know what? That moment broke me. But I think right then and there when she said, You don't get abstract art. Something in my head clicked. And I was like, it all makes sense now. I, from then on, understood what it was. But abstract art is purely, purely, just an abstraction. That's why it's called abstract. It's to withdraw or take away something from something else. I, for some reason, realized I'm just like having such a hard time holding on to physical reality and, and just reality in general. But even though I understood, I still hated it. 
Um, over time, the more I went to more museums and looked at more art and stuff and started seeing like artist stories and why they did this or did that and how it came to be, that is when I started really enjoying abstract art. There you have it, that's my college story of me crying. <laughs> and being broken down by my abstract design professor. By the way, my good friend, look what she made. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. Thank you so much. This is from my friend Ashton. She made this lovely little art for me. She herself is a photographer and she also creates a lot of digital art. Hello Ashton, thank you. Thank you for making that. I truly don't know when to stop sometimes. Art doesn't always end up being what you want it to be. And that's okay. That is the good thing. The point is that the whole point of painting a picture is just to get it out, just to paint, to paint what you feel. This is how I felt today. It doesn't look great, <laughs> but you know what? I feel better after painting it. So in that way, it was very therapeutic and I highly recommend just trying to flash some colors on to the old canvas. And if you don't like it, you can always paint over it. That is the beauty of paint and that is the beauty of art. You don't always have to love it and not everything is perfect, just like us. Yeah, that's how you paint an abstract. I give you a two, I give you the first one and the second one. I personally like the first one. I should have just stopped, but sometimes I don't know when to stop and then this happens. <laughs> Maybe that is a symbol for things, but <laughs> I'm looking too much into things. That's probably why a lot of people don't like abstract art but I enjoyed this I feel good it's not the best painting I don't love it that much but it is very interesting and I feel like it does tell a story obviously I'm still not that great at it <laughs> but you know what it's all subjective so anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this um, I'm gonna do more painting videos and I'm excited to paint more with you guys so if you did paint something and you want to share it, let me know or send it to me. Show me something you're proud of. I want to see some of my abstract artists, okay? Rhea, art teacher over and out. Thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in.